It's been tough for me to find junk silver lately at an affordable price. Luckily, today, I picked up $110 face value of 90% silver half dollars. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. I have not been able to get some 90% junk silver from my sewer dealer lately. It seems like he's been getting it in small quantities and it goes right out the door. And I've been begging him to find me some silver. That way I can A, have some for my streams, B, do a junk silver purchase and hunt, and C, just look at the sight of nice silver for my stack. That being said, as many of you ask in a lot of my junk silver purchases, how much I pay at face, Obviously, that's a rotating or a floating number depending on spot price. I will tell you in advance, I had to pay up on this stuff because the demand is high in my area for 90% silver, half dollars, quarters, dimes, you name it. Luckily, even though I paid up, I still paid at 24 and a half times face, which is a little bit less than what you're seeing online, and we had to pay cash for it, so no fees associated and no delivery costs. That being said, man, 24 and a half times, starting to creep up there pretty good. I do have $110 face value in just half dollars. And I don't know if there's anything fancy schmancy in here. This could just be some regular circulated, no better date, nothingness. But he did say he had a $110 bag of halves and I figured I'd take it. I probably won't find anything older than a Walker. But if we get Walkers, Benjis, and Kennedys that I can see through the bag, that'll make me happy. I think for today's video, we'll dump this out. We'll go ahead and stack it by Benji's, Walkers, and Kennedy's. And then we'll probably go ahead and do a variety hunt on some of the major varieties, at least in the Walkers and in the Kennedy's. And then, of course, we'll take a look to see if we have any better dates throughout this bag as well. All right, that's a long intro. Let me go ahead and pop this open. We'll do a live dump out, and then we'll start the sort. That's a lot of halves. Too bad this one's got some paint on it, but you know what? What are you gonna do? All right, I don't see anything older than a Walker at quick glance. So probably just Walkers, Benjis, and Kennedys, like I said. Let me go ahead now and stack it. And as I'm stacking it by design type, if I run across something that catches my eye, I'll bring you guys back. Otherwise, we'll be back with it stacked. So I'm getting them stacked by the Kennedys, the Benjis, the Walkers, I did see a earlier date, 1917 Walker. I did check for an obverse mint mark. There's just a little bit of damage on it, so it's going to be a 17P. I'll scope that just to make sure, but I bring in because uh, in the middle of the stack, I do see a 1903 Barber half dollar, and that is a 1903-0. Not necessarily a better date unless it was in better condition, but this is not in great condition, but still, nice seeing at least one Barber in the bag. Let me get back to the sort, and then I'll be back. We're still sorting. We're getting close to the end, but I'll tell you, I figured I'd bring you in just in case. Got a 1938 Walking Liberty half dollar. If there's a Denver Mint on the back, it's a key date. And there's not. Just a 38P, but we'll take it. Okay, we have finished the sort, and I'll give you a little recap of how I have them sorted. We've got the 64 Kennedys here. I don't have them separated by Philadelphia and Denver mints yet. We've got the 60s Benjis here, the 50s Benjis, and the 40s. I did see we had a 49 or two in there, which is slightly a better date, but the condition's not great. The 40s Walkers, we have two stacks, 30s Walkers, 20s Walkers, and Teens Walkers, or there's also one without a date, and then we have that Barber. Now that I've got them sorted, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Kennedy half dollars first. I'm going to now segregate them by Philadelphia and Denver Mints. And then after I do that, I'm going to start the hunt for any DDOs or DDRs. Should I come across something in the Kennedys, I'll bring you in to show you what I found and give you an approximate value based on its condition. Let's hope we find a goodie in the Kennedys. Well, we finished sorting the Kennedy half by Philadelphia and Denver Mint. I scoped all of the Philadelphia ones for both the DDO and the DDR, none of which were there. And I scoped all the Denver minted ones for all of the many DDOs you can find. Of course, 
nothing was found or I would have brought you back. Now let me go ahead and segregate the Benjis and I will be checking for any nicer condition ones, any better dates like you see down here, as well as for any of the varieties you can find, but mainly on better condition Benjis because if we find a Benji with a variety and it's pretty beat up, then it's not gonna fetch any additional value or be worth grading at least. Let me go ahead and do that now and I'll bring you in if I find a better date or a variety on the Benjis. So we finished going through the Benjis and you know what? They're all in pretty circulated condition, if you will, which I would expect, but we did get a 48 P and D. They are lower mints. The Denver doesn't look that bad, has really good detail, but it has some kind of gunk on it. So obviously that's not gonna make it worth anymore because of that. We did also get a better date, 1949 Denver. And then a couple of other better dates, but again, in rough shape, a 52S and a beat up, dinged up 54S, which is always tough to find. Either way, five better Benjis, but the condition makes them pretty much just regular value. So no additional value for these. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in the roll and move on. Benjis are now done. Time to move on to the walkers. Let me get them sorted and see if we have any varieties in there as well. So far, we're striking out as expected, but you got to take a look if you're going to find them. Let me go ahead and do the walkers and I'll bring you back next with the wrap up or if I find something while I'm looking at them. So I've just finished sorting and hunting all the 40s walkers. Nothing exciting here. The best find of the walkers is this pretty nice 1941 Denver. Other than that, I did double check for a lot of the little varieties like the missing designer initials on the 45P. I checked the 46Ps for the DDRs and the 42Ps for the DDRs as well, as well as a few other miscellaneous RPMs and things like that. We didn't have any of that in this lot. And at least if we did, I couldn't find it based on the condition. 40s are down. I'm gonna do all of the other 30s, 20s and teens together and bring you back for a wrap up of those. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up the walkers. We did get a 1917 Philadelphia, obviously not the obverse mint mark, a 1917 Philly in slightly better shape than the first, I'll take it. It's hard to see the date, but I've done some diagnostics and the last digit is a seven and based on its placement, I believe this is gonna be a 1917S reverse mint mark. Slightly better coin, but in that condition, really not. And then a slightly better as well, 1923 San Francisco. Pretty nice coin overall for its age, but nothing uh, very valuable based on its condition anyway. And then, figured I'd just bring you back, we did have that 1903 O, barber half dollar, and pretty much cold condition. At the end of the day, there was nothing really fantastic in this hunt as expected, but I get to add some more silver for my stack and to use for my streams. I know it wasn't the most eventful junk silver purchase and hunt, but wanted to share with you guys anyway, since many of you have been asking for me to do more of these when I can. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, happy stacking, and thanks for watching.